On Friday, Foreign Ministry spokeswoman Mao Ning said that China firmly opposes the United States' latest delivery of missiles to the Taiwan region and has lodged serious representations with the U.S. side over this utterly wrong and dangerous move, as per China Daily Report. Mao added that Washington's supply of arms to Taiwan seriously violates the provisions of the three China-U.S. joint communiques, especially the August 17 communique of 1982. She told reporters at a regular news briefing in Beijing that the move also interferes in China's internal affairs, undermines China's sovereignty and security interests, and harms peace and stability across the Taiwan Strait. According to the media reports, a Taiwan defense official confirmed that the U.S. is starting to provide its $500 million worth of weapons aid to the region through the Presidential Drawdown Authority and the first consignment of Stinger surface to air missiles had arrived on Thursday. Under the U.S. National Defense Authorization Act, for fiscal year 2023, the U.S. Congress authorized up to $1 billion worth of weapons aid for Taiwan using the Drawdown, a fast-track authority that has been exercised more than 35 times to send arms to Ukraine. The spokeswoman said that from a former senior White House official's public statement on destroying Taiwan semiconductor factories, including the Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, to a Republican presidential candidate's call for guns in every Taiwanese household, the U.S. intent to use Taiwan to contain China cannot be more obvious. Mao said, urging Washington to stop arming Taiwan with weapons that, quote-unquote, the 1.4 billion Chinese people, including Taiwan compatriots, do not accept it. We urge the U.S. side to stop military contact with Taiwan, stop creating factors that could lead to tensions in the Taiwan Strait, and stop encouraging and supporting Taiwan independence, separatist forces to seek independence with military force. Mao also warned the Democratic Progressive Party authorities that it would only be a dead end if they tried to use foreign support, including weapons from the U.S. to seek Taiwan independence. I am Lovely Montoya of Manila STV.